Hello, how are you? Uh, these two sweets, I'll place your bag in here. This sure, is empty yeah. as well. Welcome on board. Thank you very much. Right, so we are the only ones in first class apparently. So we have all the seats to ourselves. Beautiful. Right, so I'm about two hours away from Marley now. I sat here reflecting on quite a few things. Beautiful that we got this whole first class to ourselves though. Really, really cozy. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about is something way, way much of a deeper purpose. So I've got loads of questions over the last few days. I'm like, how do you switch off when you go away? Mark, did you always really think this was possible? Like a magnitude of different questions. Like Mark, why do you teach people if you're already successful? But like, I always get it every year. There's always a different variation of it. And I think a lot of people find it difficult to understand because they project from their way of thinking. So if you're someone who, let's say, you don't like your job and you're not where you want to be, it's going to be really difficult for your mind to resonate with my values and my principles. You'll be thinking, if I knew how to trade to make money, why would I want to teach anyone else? Why would I waste my time with this? Why would I do that? Yeah, but you're not where you want to be, so you don't understand what it's like. You've not ticked off every single goal that you ever wanted. I've, I've looked after my family. They're financially good. I've built them a house. I've taken care of everyone. I've ticked off all the goals, all the desires I've wanted. I've done it. Investments, commercial real estate, residential real estate, stocks, crypto, you name it. There isn't anything that I'm lacking. I have an incredible life. I don't live a life that I need to run away from and escape, which is why I'm not jet setting every five seconds because I, I love what I do. I love what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And there reaches a point in which I believe every person, if it's within you, because remember, money doesn't change you. Money magnifies who you already are. I've always been someone, anyone that grew up with me, my friends can vouch for this. I've always been someone, even when I had no money, I always want to push people. I always want people to do more. So then what people are asking me, they say, Mark, if I was you, I would just be, you know, sipping margaritas on the beach, chilling. Even yeah, that's you, that's not me, right? I can still do what I want to do, but the feeling that I get when I see someone with just a average mind, hasn't had the training, hasn't had the guidance, hasn't had the best upbringing, or just doesn't know what they want to do with life. And then I see them turn their life around and then they learn trading skills, mindset skills. Of course, listen, I don't hold back. When people are in Falcon, I'm not just giving them analysis, I'm giving them life wisdom, and I'm saving them years. Like the value in that in and of itself, just the Q&A sections without the trading is life coaching without you even realizing it. And I know that because I work with people on the one-to-one -one level, but to see people change and genuinely see them make it happen and live a life, that to me is way more purposeful. Now I get not everyone will resonate with that, and maybe some of you just may not even believe that. That's, that's fine. But my actions speak louder than words. What I want you guys to use some discernment is that look at what people do, not what they say. So if you look at me over the last eight years, look at my actions and the things that I've done to help people and do more. So it doesn't matter what I say to you. It's about what do I do? What do my actions actually display? Because at the end of the day, that's what really counts. So for me, again, Dubai Mastermind coming up at the end of the year. We had our Wealth Creation one last year. Now this one's even bigger, better. We've got, of course, the uh, Yacht Mastermind as well, and just so much more. I always get a lot of clarity when I'm on flights. I don't know about you guys, but it's something about being on the flight. Bear in mind, right? I mapped out, let me just put something. I mapped out the Falcon whole project on a flight from Australia back to the UK. Little peppermint tea. Not nearly ate the tea bag. I mapped out the whole project on a flight. Something about being in the air. Do you know what I think it is? I think it's because there's no distractions, nothing really going on. I'm not on my phone because I, you can't really be, like Wi Fi's okay, but you get my point. It's almost like you're disconnected from the world because you can just focus on just one thing. And I think what that does is it gives me the outside level of thinking to reflect on what I've done, how far I've come, where I want to go, etc. And that gives me new ideas. So just something about it for me, which I, why I always tell people, when it comes to December time, don't switch off straight away, but take some time at some point to really get deep on who are you actually becoming on a day-to-day -day basis? Who, what kind of character are you actually becoming? What do you want to do with your life? Are you aligned and feel centered in and of yourself? Because if you know deep down something needs to change and you're not happy with who you are as an individual, well then, there are processes, there are ways to do that, but you've got to commit to it. You can't be someone who just spectates, sits on the sidelines, even maybe you tune into my videos and you think, oh, that'd be nice, I'd love to be a trader. I'd love to 
be able to take control over my own time. I'd love to be the person that I can just spend more time with their family. You can. You 100% can. I think I'm a council estate. And now I'm here, the first class sweep to mark all of this to myself. That doesn't happen by accident. It doesn't happen by chance. It happens when you've got a plan, a deliberate process, and you have the right guidance around you that's just going to help accelerate that learning curve. What I'm saying is, don't write yourself off and then get dopamine from watching videos of motivation, etc. Actually become part of it. You're the main character in your story. Not me, not, not anyone else. And if you focus on writing that book of your story, start writing down, build who do I want to become? Who do I want to spend time with? What kind of life do I want to live? It's 100% possible. It may not happen within six months or a year, but it's 100% possible. If I can do it from a council estate with no resources whatsoever, or just putting myself out there and being non-stop persistent till I succeed, with resources like Falcon, you, you literally have 50% of the battle is already done. The fact that you just by being in Falcon alone, 50% has already been achieved by default just by doing that. All you now need to do is just buy your time, listen well, get on with it, really pay attention to all of the details and actually go in with an attitude where non-stop persistence until you succeed. Like it's very, very difficult if you listen to exactly what I say, exactly how I tell you to do it and not progress. There's a reason why we now have so many people that are funded, are in her science, third party fund, people who've got private investment. People are changing their lives, guys. We don't get here by eight years by accident. This is a clear plan that I'm mapped out in 2016. We're 2024 and now we are here. In the next two years, we're just gonna be even closer towards that 100 million goal. You can either be part of that and say, right, I wanna slice this, enough is enough. Or you can do your own thing, right? It's entirely up to you, the choice is yours, but just be someone that takes action on something, whether it's with us, whether it's someone else. If you're thinking about learning to trade, be someone that just goes all in on it. Don't be someone who sits on the sidelines and then just hopes things that are gonna work out because it won't. Like, living a top 1% life requires a top 1% attitude and mentality. That even now, when I can sit here, watch a film and chill, I'm still thinking about my goals. I know it sounds cliche, but I love it. That doesn't feel like a chore to me. What have we got? We haven't got too far at all. Meanwhile, what are these? Veggie chips. I don't know about you, but a beetroot chip? Oh, no, that's getting too fancy at this point. You don't want a bit of that. Anyway, right, question a bit.